Welcome to St. Charles Catholic Church, the Liturgy of the Word for the Sunday Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. In those days the Lord said to Elijah, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of abel Olaf, you shall anoint to be prophet in your place. So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plying with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the twelve. Elisha passed by him and cast his mantle upon him, and he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him and took the yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the yokes of oxen and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my lot. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand I shall not be moved. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, bliss forever. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand fast, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants of one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, Take heed that you are not consumed by one another. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the de desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to prevent you from doing what you would. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
when the days drew near for Jesus to be received up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him who went and entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. But the people would not receive him because his face was set towards Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to but fire come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But he said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's readings, in today's gospel, we are called once again to be followers of Jesus, to be his disciples. As we have heard in the gospel, Jesus on his way to Jerusalem, but also on his way to Jerusalem, he would pass through Samaria, a Samaritan town. And Jesus sent some of his disciples along to prepare for him, but the Samaritans would not welcome him because he was on his way to Jerusalem. And then we hear James and John, Lord, must we pray that the fire may consume them, destroy them. But Jesus could have done something, said no, and they took another route, a longer route, on their way to Jerusalem. Sometimes, yes, we get angry with people and we want to take revenge. And sometimes we are revengeful people. But the important thing for you and me is to practice charity, to practice love, to practice forgiveness. Jesus could have easily have said, yes, I will punish them. But nevertheless, not took another route and off they went to Jerusalem. But Jesus also warning his followers as we hear in today's gospel. And Jesus said to them, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Once again, Jesus extends an invitation to all of us to follow him, but also telling us that it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy journey. All the comforts, all the nice things. And you will know as you follow Jesus, as you make sacrifices in life, as you are good and kind to people outside, you would expect the same in return, but it doesn't always work that way. It's difficult. And Jesus calls us to do something difficult, to reach out to our brothers and sisters, and especially those who disappoint us, who persecute us, and at times who don't listen to us, that we still love them and reach out to them. To all of you, God's blessings as you continue your journey, and don't be discouraged, don't be despondent. Continue doing what is just and what is right, and your reward will be great in heaven when the Lord calls us all. Bless you all. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we ask God to hear our prayers for all who are not yet free from oppression, sickness, or sin. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, 
that their sensitivity and compassion encourage all Christians to keep their hand on the plow in their witness to promote the kingdom of God among us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For people who suffer under the yoke of slavery, that they may come to experience the dignity owed to them as human beings. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who are struggling to find food and shelter during this winter, may their burdens be lightened by the hands of generosity stretching out to them in love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our parish community, that all we do in our daily lives may be done for the glory of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the sick of our parish and for all who have asked for our prayers, for those who have died recently and for all those whose anniversaries occur at this time, may they enjoy the eternal fulfillment of the kingdom of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our refuge and our hope, in you our hearts are glad and our souls rejoice. Hear our prayers for the fullness of joy for all who have not yet found it. We ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Father Tony extends his gratitude for the generosity of the parish through this trying time. We respect that many parishioners are struggling financially. If you are able to contribute to the parish, please do so by EFT. And together we pray that beautiful prayer which our Lord Jesus Christ gave us as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God continue showering blessings upon you and your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our liturgy of the word comes to a conclusion for this morning. We go in the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You will be notified of future updates.